bitch. You don't fuck with you, cause you don't fuck with bitch niggas, and you know it ain't a hidden love. Scanning ass bitch there. Yeah. this reaction video i need all y'all to go to itunes and type in lv skinny y'all gonna find all the music that we've been working hard to put out you know what i'm saying like all the music that we've been working hard for you're gonna find music from me kales young two leader you know what i'm saying the whole gang so yeah i need y'all to go to itunes and type in lv skinny y'all can do it right now or y'all can do it after the video you know what i'm saying but yeah man let's get into it What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, V Skinny. It's your boy, Cass. And today, we just had to check out a video from Brightside. It is 13 tips on how to survive wild animal attacks. Now, um, the reason I'm checking this out is, you know what I'm saying? I like to check out different videos, and I like to check out funny shit, but I feel like this is a video, you know what I'm saying? It could help both of us, and it could probably help you also. It could probably help you more than us because you know what I'm saying. We don't be in, yeah, we, we don't be in the damn wild. You know what I'm saying. We, yeah, if we if we see some shit, we get the fuck out of there. But you know what I'm saying. If y'all is out there, you know what I'm saying, surviving out there. Tune in. We about to get into these uh, attacks. She's looking like she's gonna get attacked. Thirteen tips you should know to survive oh, wild animals. What the fuck? You see a big ass hippopotamus for one coming out the bushes. Which I, I don't even think they do that shit. But if they do, you just looking at your hippo. foot. Like what the hell is so important on your foot? There's a like five hundred, eight hundred creature how do you behind not, you, how do you, nigga. Not hear that motherfucker? How do you not feel the presence, nigga? You can be blind and not see. Real. Like you know what I'm saying. Feel the nigga, the presence. I, I can feel Kels, and I don't know how much you weigh. You were probably 150 or something, yeah. 150 something. I can feel his presence. I know you can feel the damn some of this. She's, oh, happy go lucky. Oh, let me tie my shoe. Oh, about to get bit in the ass. Pull it tight. For real. Many wild animals can be dangerous or even fatal for a person. If you look at the statistics, you might feel terrified. I honestly thought this was going to show us some actual Sharks cause just six deaths a year. Their infamous reputation is look, very exaggerated. The I don't know about y'all, but this is a little anime shit. Like, when they be explaining that shit with anime. I mean, I fuck with it when they be doing real life animals too, but like, the anime shit I fucks with. Like, I don't know. It just be going more into detail with the yeah. anime shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can only do but so much with a real creature. You know what I'm saying? True. You like, can only show so much. Yeah, so like, true. nigga, you get so close or do so much, that nigga ain't gonna have it. Like, yeah. yeah so. It's true. Wolves are responsible for 10 deaths annually. Lions kill 22 people a year. Now, get That's ready. Elephants, cute lovely giants, are the reason that more than 500 people lose their lives every year. <laughs> Hippopotamuses equal them in this scary country. Oh, they say sharks only kill six. people six people a year. 10 people, wolves, lion, 20. See, but a niggas year. really be in a fucking, like... Like jungle, like hunting on some stupid shit, like just fucking with shit. Like compared, I've like, seen multiple regular videos land compared to like being yeah. in the water. You know true. what I'm saying? Nah, just in general, water, land. Regardless, why the fuck can't you sit your ass at home? How would the fucking mess with nature for, dude? How would the fuck nature do to you? Big fact. You know what I'm saying? I right, damn, that's like someone coming up in your crib while you just chilling, nigga. Oh, nigga, you sitting here watching TV, nigga. Oh, poke, 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 nigga. Just to see Let how me you feed react. you, nigga. Like. Get the fuck yeah, out of my shit, nigga. Real. No fight, nigga. I'll real. go to him. So I, I won't blame it. I feel like the bigger the creature, the more motherfuckers really want to, oh, man. And them niggas ain't going for that yeah, shit. Yeah, they try to do no. something. They just get stepped on by fucking elephants. And it's not like they train like they in the right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be getting, oh, keep it, just keep this shit going. Crocodiles turn out to be much more dangerous than sharks. About 1,000 deaths. I believe that. Ah, definitely. But the champion here is the snake. 100,000 people meet their end at the teeth of this reptile. Damn. To prepare you for any situation Poisonous you can find snake. yourself in, we've gathered 13 Thanks. ways I that will save your life on. if you have such an unpleasant encounter. Watch the video, make notes, and remember to give us thumbs up for worrying about your well-being. We're, we're going to, you know what I'm saying, do our virtual notes. We're well, not virtual, verbal notes, you know what I'm saying. Y'all can uh, just listen, you know what I'm saying, and... I mean, nigga, I ain't together, gonna tell y'all not saying. to do shit. Y'all niggas wanna take notes with us shit. Yeah, that's Go what ahead. I'm saying. 
Like, if y'all yeah, want to take notes off what we right saying, now, Kush. Exactly. We just exactly. got an L, y'all don't. Exactly. Yeah, if y'all got one, light up. Yeah. Number 13, sharks. The good news is that out of 150 species of sharks existing on Earth, only 20 attack humans. Damn. Most of them just don't perceive you as food. So if not something tasty, what good are you? Now down to the bad news. If a shark gets interested in you, it will be tough to break away. You're damn right. Hell yeah. To You're not attract right. sharks, prevent blood or urine from getting into the water. Oh, I know urine. Sharks urine. can smell That's these at a distance of several shit. miles. No, I have if you do meet face to face, shit. don't turn your back on this predator. Especially, don't try to escape in a panic. You will look like prey this way. Move slowly. I do believe that because you know what I'm saying? You swimming, you're going to be like... Uh, Nigga, that's like or... that's like sizing someone up in a fight, bro. If you not gonna, you know what I'm saying, hands up, you're not gonna shit down. This nigga kind of bigger than me. I'm finna. Tr- I mean, you might, but hey, nigga, you better fight, nigga. Stand your ground, nigga. The fight, ten oh, toes down. I don't think you should stand ten toes gr- gr- down to a damn shark. Yeah, I was about to say you really can't stand nowhere. You just yeah, float, you just nigga. right there. But like... you gotta. Yo, yo, be yo, big, imagine, nigga. Imagine being be big, face nigga. Face with a I'm pretty shark. sure this nigga's face is bigger than that green screen right now. That's what I'm saying. Like he's gonna be right there. And you just like, all right. Well, I'm sitting here thinking ah, one. I try. I'm sitting here thinking one. Like right, this, you know what I'm saying? We in SpongeBob world, my world. Hey, if, 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 if potato chips can be down in water, god dang it, it's all gonna blunt. Anyways. After I hit that shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm be like, dude, why the fuck am I even in the water in the first place? Like, what the fuck did I even do to get here? If I was doing some stupid shit, I'm like, fuck. Yeah, I, I don't think you have all that time to do that while a shark is in Well, shit, of nigga. Face. You ain't never like, fuck, just not like, fuck. You went some shit like, oh my God, how so, the fuck? So he's right there. Some shit? You're like, man. How the fuck, why nigga? Why did I get myself into this? Well, you, you, nigga, you gonna no. swim away, nigga? I'm, I'm thinking about, what the fuck? How can I get out of this? Okay. Like, what the what did I do to get myself here? You, nigga, you seen that shit where them girls was got submerged down in the yeah. cage and it was running up, nigga. Well, it was a dream. She was hallucinating, but still, like, nigga, you really can't do shit, nigga. You in some big oh, water, yeah. nigga. Like, you can't do shit. You can. That's why this video is telling us. Yeah, what exactly. What, and I just said you got to stand your ground. That's basically what it's telling you to do. If you don't want to stand your ground, skiing, what the fuck else are you going to do? I mean, it's not saying stand your ground. It's not, but it's you got to, like... like to wade back. Nah, nah, she's just gonna sit down and watch it just pick it. Like, I'm pretty sure you're just gonna sit there. That shark's gonna attack you, nigga. You gotta do no, some type of back, movement. Like, going backwards instead of turning back, instead of standing ten toes down in front of it. I'm pretty sure. I mean, yeah, if either way you're moving the water, but still, I don't know. I don't know. Man. All right, we're gonna keep this Yeah, I don't know. If you have been caught, aim at the eyes and gills. These zones are the most sensitive. <laughs> Number 12, oh, shit. kangaroos. Yes, surprisingly, to a kangaroo. kangaroo can pose a threat to a person. Yeah. However, it will only happen if you enter its territory and the animal feels danger. To avoid that conflict, so do the following. Cough. Your coughs should be short and quiet. The kangaroo will consider it a sign of a disease and most likely won't attack you. What the fuck? Slowly back to herbs. This way you will look smaller, therefore less dangerous. Don't turn away and run. It will only provoke the animal. Remember Boop. the kangaroos are perfect jumpers. It will catch up with you in a few moments. This is a good Number 11. I'm trying to be a damn kangaroo. Almost oh my god, life. I almost... Yo, my skull almost cracked back, yo. I don't know how balanced that shit came back, nigga, but yo. Y'all seen, y'all seen my feet, though, right? Y'all seen the elevation. Lions. <laughs> if you have encountered a lion, maintain eye contact. Don't turn your back and don't move your eyes away. It will scary. give the predator the time to attack. Try Honestly. to look more massive. To create such an impression, lift your arms and jack it up. If you look big and threatening, the animal will how you know you got jacket? encounter. Speak to the lion in a reasonably like loud and confident yeah, voice. Make sounds and gesticulate. Such a behavior is no typical lion. for a victim. This way you will baffle the predator so it will perceive you as an irritating presence which is better to stay away from. No, that's a cat. Number that nigga's gonna look at you till you stop. 
For real. Elephants are clever and quite friendly animals, but they are known to attack people. Why are you close it to elephants? It's especially true attacked. about female like elephant mothers if they decide that you are dangerous for their babies. Ass. If you come across an elephant, you pay attention cross to their body. I thought you could crisscross an elephant. Their trunk is curved. I don't know how fast elephants are, but I swear I feel like I could probably. Nigga, I was just thinking that shit. I feel like I could outrun an elephant. Yeah, like there's a lot of animals I can't outrun, but nigga, I probably could outrun that. an elephant. I know my speed, my natural speed, and I know my speed my when I'm in panic. And I know I can. No, I know a quick little juke type shit to that. juke the fuck out this elephant. I have two different speeds. I have a normal fast speed, and I have a panic speed where I'm. Nigga, anything in my way, I'm jumping, jump like pushing anything. Fuck it, nigga. I don't care, nigga. Fall, fall. I'm doing the little, you know how niggas be falling in cartoons. They be, be like, nigga, I'm out, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I don't care, nigga. I'm out, nigga. <laughs> you would not catch me, nigga. So I thought you could zigzag an elephant, cause they just stay yeah. a pee like they too big to be like I don't know. That's what I'm saying, juke them. Unless they come in herds, like if they like packs. Oh yeah, late. you late. Yeah, you late, nigga. Yeah, I was waiting to get in a tree, but no, nah, they run nah, over trees yes, too. Yes, nigga, they run over everything, nigga. Damn, the ears are pulled back. And I think they swim. Means they are going to crush you. Hold on, hold on. If the animal approach. Hold on, see if we ever go to the safari or something, we need to be listening. If their trunk is curled and the ears are pulled back, it means they are going to crush you. Ears are gonna crush if the animal you. approaches, don't run. Try to find something to become a barrier between you and the elephant. It can be a stone or a tree. The elephant gonna be like, fuck that stone. Basically. Number nine, rhinoceros. Exactly. You late. Rhinoceroses have bad eyesight. Oh. That's why it is easy to frighten them and provoke them to attack. These animal speeds can reach 37 miles per hour. This is the reason it is really hard to outrun them. Shit. Hard, but not impossible. The only way to escape from the rhinoceros is to hide behind a tree. It is a substantial obstacle for the animal. Also, it won't follow you through the bushes or high grass. Number eight, hippopotamuses. Do they really come These the animals bushes? seem cute, but this image is very misleading. They can be extremely dangerous. Despite their weight, hippopotamuses can run at a speed of 18.5 miles per hour. They don't have a perfect character as well. Angering them is easy peasy. If the weather is hot, Try not to enter the bushes. The level of water lowers during the drought, so the hippos hide in the high grass. Okay, I did not know that. Me either. To make the animals leave you alone, climb a tree, oh, rock, or a steep hill. Wait there until it goes you away. We'll be there for a minute. I'd be scared seven, even to get down. Bulls. The fuck? Despite the widespread hey, opinion, bulls, bulls react to the yeah, movement, they be playing not with bulls. to the red or any yeah. other color. That's why, if a bull is running at you, stay See, straight playing with his still. hat like he's Use provoking your hat, him. t-shirt, or other clothes you have at hand as bait. When the animal runs up close enough, throw the thing as far away Bitch, from you no. as possible. The bull will change I'm not direction no bull and run follow towards this me. object. And then once he figures out it's just a little hat, he's going to turn his direction back on you. It is. It's doom, 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 doom. But they got they got something on how to survive jellyfish. What the fuck? That's smart. Yeah, this is great because you know what I'm jellyfish shits happen all the time at beaches and shit. So, yeah, see what this is about. A jellyfish burn brings a long lasting, nagging ache. Some people believe that peeing on the damaged surface can relieve pain. I did. Pain, I've seen something like that. It's just an urban legend. Okay. Immediately that's after being burnt, wash this place with salt water. Pure water will only worsen the situation. After that, using a pair of tweezers or a stick, Move the remaining parts of the jellyfish away. If you have antihistamine you know, like apply it to the place of the burn. Number got, five, got, got alligators or crocodiles. The jaws of these animals are the strongest on the planet. In this case, breaking free won't be a piece of cake. If you've been grabbed, hit the eyes. The eyes and the throat of these animals are their most sensitive areas. To make the animal let you go, Aim at them. If you notice that the predator is crawling toward you on the ground, make as much noise as possible. Run in a zigzag. This is exactly the situation when to run and shout is the best solution. If you see a crocodile while swimming, don't create splashes. Don't shout. It will draw the unwanted attention. Why are you swimming somewhere as wide as you can and swim away? 
Hey, Florida waters and shit. Be Number four, snakes. Most snakes are neither dangerous nor poisonous. Shit. People get 80% oh, of their bites trying to catch this reptile. If you notice that a snake is following you, stop your feet. The vibrations will confuse the snake and it will let you be. If you have been bitten, don't try to suck the poison out from the wound as they do in the movies. I have seen Better that. to wash the bite with running water, apply a tourniquet, and call an emergency. Number three, bears. Bears attack people quite rarely, but if you get in the wrong place at the wrong time, it might still happen. It is necessary to know several behavioral rules. Don't run. If you run, you will look like prey. A wild animal will follow you, at least out of instinct. And if you think that you can outrun a bear, forget it. Oh, they can develop a speed of 30 miles per hour. Oh, shit. Fall yeah, to the yeah, ground and no curl bear. into a ball. No Use your Fall hands to, the... to cover your neck. Pretend to be dead. Fuck with you, this way, you won't be considered as a threat any longer. Bink, nigga, that's the what bear might do. toss yeah, you around for a bit. Don't panic. Might toss you around what? for a little bit. What the f Exactly what? what I just said. They gonna fuck with you. Pink yeah, nigga. They, they pinball like, nigga, nigga. Nigga, stop playing with me, nigga. You, you, you ain't, ain't dead, dead nigga. nigga. I'm gonna kick you and everything, nigga. And as nigga. soon as you... Ah, yeah. Let you get fucking eaten. Yeah. Well, they say don't panic. Yeah, okay. I can't just sit there in a ball after getting smacked through a crown a couple times by the bear and still be like, oh, he's not going to eat me. That's why I just said, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, away from my, my this, this, this other shit. Yeah. I think it's tripping. Play dead a bit longer, even if it leaves you alone, because these smart animals often stay around and watch their prey. What the fuck? That's Number wild. two, gorillas. Gorillas are called the kings of the jungle, not without reason. They are leaders who protect their family and land. They don't attack you if you behave scary, obediently. If you behave Sit down to seem less large and not to tower over the gorilla. Yeah, don't size that Try nigga. to whisper and avoid direct eye contact. In case of an attack or approach, curl into a ball. Gorillas are proud animals. As a rule, they won't attack the weak and defenseless. That's real shit. Number one, trailer. B. That, that is some real shit, though. At least they like, okay, they can use a bitch. I ain't gonna beat the shit out of you. Who you feel like will win, a gorilla or a bear? Depends on the type. Black bear. Black bear against who? What type of gorilla? Silverback. Silverback. Black silver, silverback, got it. That's ah. Uh, wait, is the silverback the most gangster gorilla? Hell yeah, nigga. You saw that black, the silverback on that gorilla just now, nigga. Oh, that was a silverback? Yeah. I didn't even know. But damn. Uh, against a black bear? Black bear is the biggest. Yeah, ain't they the biggest bear? Yeah. All right, so I don't know. The gorilla's the strong. The silverback's the strongest gorilla. Like them niggas. Fuck, that's a good question. Who the fuck would? If y'all know the answer, you know. I'm so going. Damn. I want to say I'm going with the silverback, honestly. The silverback may hit him, but that, that, that bear, bear gonna bear, come. Bear, and they got speed claws, too. It has the claws. They can climb and too. Bite. Yeah, both of them can climb, but a gorilla can jump. If there's a bear on YouTube, them. we might have to react to that. Yeah, we, we might have to react to bear that. versus the gorilla. <laughs> Coming uh, soon. Yeah, let's get to these bees. Bees will protect their hive. They can bite even if you are just walking by. Dark colors attract bees' attention. Oh, that's, cool. that's why if you're dressed in a that's black cool t-shirt, your chances of being stung by well, these no. insects are much higher. Them niggas are gonna come if to a hive of bees or just several of them are following you, hide in a dark place. A lack of proper lighting will throw the insects off your track. We hope you will never dark. have to escape from a rhinoceros, swim away I, I from know. a crocodile, or meet a hungry lion. However, now you will be able to protect yourself in the wilderness. Alright, I don't think I will. I think I'm still gonna freak the fuck out. Get down right. <laughs> Just, and run the fuck away from whatever the yeah, fuck it right. is. Like, nigga, I don't feel like none of, I mean, maybe some of this shit's legit. But yeah, right. some of it, but at the same time, I'm not letting it get that close to me before I just panic and run. Last like, time I went to a safari, this is like a minute. Alright, I ain't gonna flex it. I'm gonna say I'll let's do it. No, I was a little legit, you know what I'm saying? I went fucking to a little safari shit where you can be on the little, uh, they take you around, you have um, 
animal shit so you can feed the animals. Mm. Boys, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, this is a uh, safari park. Yeah, I went there, nigga. The first motherfucking stop. This was before, you know what I'm saying, the braids, you know what I'm saying? Like, this was when I was blue, you know what I'm saying? Grow my hair. I had a little fro and everything. <laughs> went to the can with this nigga and took my bucket, whatever. <laughs> he. That's exactly what he did. I'm like, oh, fuck. I don't even got no more food for all the other animals. Nigga, I'm hit. <clears throat> Luckily, some shorty gave me her bucket. I was like, bet. Nigga took my other bucket. But I didn't even give it to him. That's the crazy thing about it. He stuck his long ass neck up in that shit. Like, you know, because it'd be open and shit, yeah. right? Yeah, so he just stuck his long ass neck up in there. And keep in mind, I'm sitting right here just, man, minding my own business. Like, dude, I don't even want to fuck with this nigga. He took my food. I'm waiting for us to go. Everyone else still feeding the cameras. This nigga going and bring his shit right there beside me and take my food. I'm like, what the fuck? So I went to go grab it. He dropped my bucket and literally on me, my my bro, you can ask my mom. This nigga went from my hair, went from my hair, tried to grab it. And he grabbed my hair, no cap. And then let go. So I guess he, you know, knew it was hair or whatever. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Like, I didn't say what the fuck, but I was like, yo, yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I was freaking the fuck out. I was a little kid, you know what I'm saying? Freaking the fuck out. But he let me go. Now, I didn't get up high. He just like bit it. I'm like, what the fuck? I got camel spit in my hair, basically. So, more of the story is like, I, I basically rode around that whole safari, hot ass far with camel spit in my hair. I had to go home. Moms was mad as hell. Like, what the fuck? How the fuck you got this shit all up your hair? Smelling like shit. Smelling like all damn uh, wild ass, animal ass shit. Like, going ham, bro. I'm saying here, like, her, my uh, teacher told her what happened and shit. And she's like, oh. Why the fuck? She's like, on a whole ride home. She's like, man, how the fuck they allowed that shit to happen to you, man? What kind of fucking teacher is this shit? This ain't like going ham. I'm just sitting here like, dude, I got cameras in my hand. Mm. What the fuck, bro? Like, nigga, you talking about like losing your mojo, just like a whole self esteem, just like, you know what I'm saying? Cut, like, Bro, I, I, I just felt like shit that whole day, bro. Like, I couldn't mack on no one. I couldn't. Like, I was dripped the fuck out. That was when Sean John was popping, nigga. I don't have my Sean John. I couldn't even rock that sport it no more, nigga. Like, I got cameras in my hair, bro. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck going on, bro? Oh, <laughs> it wasn't even cameras. It was oh, my no, cam. I, 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 I didn't want to. <laughs> fuck yeah, I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? I don't care, dude. That shit was crazy. Uh, well, um, shout out to these motherfucking tips, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the animals. There ain't no camel tip, shit. Yeah, there was no tips about the camels. Like, no camel tip. How you, how you prevent from getting spitting on? The fuck going on that's with that the, shit? That's one reason I never, like, tried to ever feed them or do shit like that. Them niggas. Because I heard they spit. Yes. And that's one of my fears, the spit types that I, I hate spit. I'd be damned if one of the motherfuckers ready to just, like, a camel spit at my aunt. <laughs> Little Chris's mom. Pretty sure we was at the fair and they ate the spit. And I was like, alright, like, like, you got fucked up. I beat the shit out of that camel nigga hey, spit on me. Do that nigga, nigga taller what? than your ceiling, I come through with a fucking taller than the fuck. You really fitting it. Sorry, you can come through with a fucking uppercut on his ass. What? Who are you spitting on? Yo, what? You really gotta jump off some shit to uppercut I'm that nigga. I'm telling you, yo, I'm like... turning into Ryu. Sorry. Ryuki. I'm telling you, knocking his fucking head. But yeah, man. Shout out to these tips. Man, make sure y'all like, comment, oh, subscribe, all that. Till next time, YouTube. Hey, yo, yo, fuck. You know what I'm saying? Keep keep posting. We gonna drop that video of the gorilla and black bear. You know what I'm saying? I'm Slam. going with gorilla. So it's that. Doing the fight, sent bullets through air. Hey, diamond shining very clear. Hey, she wanna fuck pulling her hair. 24-7, I'm grinding. I'm out here again, cheddar. Smoking on some of that good shit. Life can't be better. Life can't get worse. Huh? I done seen that shit. Huh? We done went through the worst. Huh? You wouldn't even believe the shit. I was out here trapping at night. Times was bad, but we got right. Sunday morning, Dr. Light. Monday morning, night to bright. And all these fiends ain't hit my phone. I tell them, Connor, I'll be there right. And he don't even need the shit, cause he just almost lost his sight. But I'm on a bag and I need it. Straight cash, I'm fuck with no leasing. I'm in Cali, I'm smoking on Keisha. We spice on his head like he leases. Pull up on the nigga, they leave him. Take over the land like a treason. Going all of this dope for a reason. It hurt me to see all my people. Some of them really down.